All right, everyone, welcome to lesson 15. I know I said last lesson was one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites too. And I'm excited because they're back to back. Last lesson, we talked about memorializing everything, getting everything on record, agreements, templates, scheduling, operations, uh, checklist, everything that's gonna make your business a real thing, right? A, a real thing you can pass on down, big binder, a big file of all your operations so that anyone can run your business. All your proprietary knowledge, this is all important stuff that you need to memorialize to ultimately memorialize your business and make your business be able to last forever. Now, with all that being said, lesson 15, let's talk about staying organized. What is the point of memorializing everything, keeping everything on record, all your notes, everything you learn, all your meetings? What is the point of that if you don't know how to get to it? Or if it's just simply unorganized, sloppy, Staying organized is one of the things that has set me apart and made every business I ever touched, every business I ever created successful was staying organized. I know where everything is right now from all my business. Nothing is lost. I know every single moving part because I'm organized. Now, for this particular lesson, we're gonna talk staying organized from a filing perspective, your documents, your content, all of that. We're gonna talk about how to keep all that stuff safe. And then we're gonna talk about a couple of different um, softwares or you know, online systems that you can use to be more redundant with your data so that you don't lose. Uh, and then we're gonna talk about some other systems on your computer Right, some other softwares that you can use, some other platforms to remain organized, um, leveraging some cloud-based softwares, leveraging your ability to connect with other people. Right, So this might be outside of content and all that, but it, it might literally be communications. It might be how you transfer files and content to other parties you may be working with, other businesses, independent contractors, your photographer, your videographer, your graphic designer. I'm gonna give you a certain way so that we're not text messaging back and forth videos, right? I'm gonna give you a couple mechanisms and uh, like I said, online software that you can use to remain organized even outside of your own servers or file systems. So, number one about staying organized, I wanna talk about filing. You can never be over, um, Man, over intentional, over, you can't overdo it with the filing. So right now, if you plug in my hard drive, it dates all the way back to 2013. And you can find all of my game film from when I was playing, game film from every game from all my teams that ever played, every video we ever recorded and edited for my youth basketball organization, Above Maximum Basketball, every logo, every marketing material we ever created is on that hard drive. United Home Relief is only uh, two years old. Same exact thing, file system is absolutely clean. And that's because I put everything in a folder and I name every folder. And I'm gonna do a, a screen share just like we did in some of the last lessons. And I'm actually gonna show you my in case you guys don't believe me. But every folder has folders in it. Those folders have folders in it. Each folder has documents very specific to that name of the folder. Right, so I don't have like my documents and then all my documents in the documents or pictures and all my pictures in the pictures. They're organized by event, by year, by title. Okay, so this is extremely important because from a content branding and marketing perspective, what if I wanna reuse an old photo or an old video? I know exactly where to go to get it, right? I might say, hey, it's Mother's Day this month, and for a campaign, we're gonna post all the Mother's Day photos from our first Mother's Day basketball tournament ever, or Mother's Day event, or Mother's Day seminar ever. I can go in my file system right now and look up Mother's Day seminar, Mother's Day basketball tournament, and there's gonna be a whole folder with all the content. A folder that says photos, a folder that says videos. If you click photos, it might say iPhone photos, it might say professional photos, it might say GoPro photos, right? And I can go in and find every specific piece of content that I, now I can use right now, five, six years later. This is extremely important and priceless and it costs you nothing. 
All it is is the extra effort and time invested into creating a file system that's easy to navigate, right? So when we're creating a file system, all you, and again, I'm gonna do a screen share, but all you have to worry about is levels. That's how I keep everything organized. So is level one. We wanna make sure that uh -oh, our mark is dying as we come to the end of our, oh man, as we come to the end of our small business startup kit, this thing is done, we got like three more lessons. So level one, title, is going to reflect everything inside it. And then inside we're gonna have subsidiary folders, right? All level two with a different title. Okay, and then within there, it's like an outline. Level three, okay? This is what our file system is gonna look like. And when I show you on the computer, on, I know on Macs at least, when you open each folder, it literally looks like this. So I wanna make sure that I'm titling it A, where it's searchable, we talked about in the email chapter, subjecting our emails with the title that we can search constantly. But bigger than the search, even just knowing where to go. If you knew nothing about my businesses and I gave you my hard drive, when you plug the hard drive in, the first thing you're gonna see is five folders. And again, I'm gonna prove this to you by doing a screen share, but you're gonna see five folders, each folder, right? One, two, three, four, each folder with the title of one of my businesses. I have five of them, you're gonna see five folders. Right then, you're gonna know exactly what they are. You click one. And let's say you click United Home Relief. Right from there, you're going to see properties. Each property we've ever bought, sold, kept, you're gonna see it. And when you select one of those, inside there, you're gonna see contracts and agreements. You're gonna see photos from that transaction and you're gonna see videos from that transaction, all right? And if you click one of those, let's say you click contracts, you might see contracts with our investors, our contract with our attorneys, all still in folders. We haven't even got to the actual files yet, right? Attorneys, lenders, right? Investors, attorneys, lenders, uh, who else we got contracts with? Shoot, who even knows? But let's say you click lenders. And under lenders, then you'll see the actual contract, right? You might see some other documents that we had to submit to get the loan, right? But here you might get into the meat and potatoes. You might get into the actual files, okay? But they were so organized and yeah, I had to go through a couple levels to get to them. And yeah, this might've been extra work, but could you imagine if you clicked United Home Relief my company, United Home Relief, and you just saw pictures of me at closing, pictures of the house, videos of the house, agreements with my attorney, mixed in with all the documents and bank statements that I had to submit to get the loan, mixed in with agreements with investors that maybe went half on the property with me, agreements with property managers, Right, marketing materials that we use to sell the house, brochure, you know, uh, postcard. You're talking about the United Home Relief logos. Guys, the, the, the file system would literally be so out of whack that it would actually take me more time to find files than it would have to just take the time and properly organize them. Even when things get kind of crazy and I got documents all over the place, I am intentional in scheduling time on my calendar specifically to getting organized. And I look at everything here, I assess it. Okay, we got a video, we got a photo, we got a contract, we got another contract, we got a marketing material. We got, uh, come on, what's these other three here? Give me some, we got a logo, right? We got another picture. And then here we got, I'm gonna put T for trash. Just something that maybe I just threw in there real quick because I didn't want to get rid of it at the time. 
So I go through and I say, okay, boom, we're gonna dump the trash, delete that. I see we got two pictures, so we're gonna make a pictures folder. We got one contract? Well, we're still gonna make a contract folder. Okay, we got, oh no, I see two contracts here, so good. We got, what was L, logo, only one logo? We're gonna make a logo folder. What was a V, video? A video folder. Matter of fact, I might even get rid of the V and the P if you guys can even see. And I'll have my editor throw these on and make a content folder. And then under that have V and P. You guys understand? If that makes sense for this particular group of items. So I assess the items that I have. It can't hurt, it's free guys. I'm not paying for each folder. The folder takes up no space. So on my hard drive or in my cloud, which we'll talk about in a second, it doesn't cost me anything to create a folder and organize in these folders. Nothing wrong with putting stuff in folders. Okay, I don't know if you guys have ever had a stack of paper, but it sucks. The edges get all frilled, everything gets all messed up. I'd rather have a stack of folders all day, every day with papers inside the folders so that the papers are at least protected. And now I know what the papers are without revealing or putting at risk the content of the paper. Now I'm talking fictional. We're talking digital here, but same exact thing, same exact concept. Why have a file exposed on your computer or in person? Why have a file exposed? You would never, have you ever opened a file cabinet and just saw a stack of papers? If you did, that person was probably unorganized. You open a file cabinet and you see folders, you see files in the folders. You don't just see files laying there. Every file cabinet ever invented has the little things where you can hang the folders or is shaped with the same dimensions of a folder so you can sit the folder upward. Every single one, okay? You don't see file cabinets that where you just lay the papers out because that's not the best way to access the content. So with that being said, that's filing. That's my emphasis on filing. I also want to talk about backing up. So if you don't know what backing up is, we'll throw the definition on the screen. Backing up is when you make a copy of everything that you have and you store it away from everything, if that makes sense. So that's the Art Morrison definition. We'll put the real definition up. But when you take a copy of everything and you store it elsewhere, Okay, you store it away from where everything else might be. So if you have a computer, you probably know, you plug your hard drive up. A hard drive is a device, a storage device. You plug it up, your, com your computer might immediately ask you, do you wanna use this as a backup source? It's asking you because that source is not always attached to the computer. So it's a good source to back up all of your data, right? And we'll put the definition of data up as well in case people don't know what data is. Um, but it's separate from your computer so that in case something happens to your computer and all that data goes missing or the computer is gone, that data is backed up and can be restored, which is another word, it's the opposite of backup, can be restored on another device, another computer, because it's saved on, let's say, the hard drive. And I happen to have an actual hard drive here, right? An actual mobile hard drive or external hard drive, they call them, right here in my hand. And I have like 10, 20 of those hard drives with stuff stored on it, all right? Because I understand the importance. And I have one big one that has a backup of all of them, okay? So when it comes to backing up, hey, in the tech world, redundancy is your friend. Redundancy means doing something over and over again. You want to have as many backups as you can um, without losing sanity. So let's say I have my computer. My computer has my nice files I just talked about. I have those files or the whole computer backed up on a hard drive. And then I also might have them backed up on a second hard drive. And then I also might have them backed up to a cloud, which is a hard drive that I don't physically have. I purchase space on another server somewhere else. I don't even know where, right? I might pay Google or pay Microsoft or another company that sells storage. I might pay one of them to store all of my contents, right? So now that's four backups. My house catches on fire and my laptop and one of the hard drives was in it. I still have another hard drive and the cloud data, right? If the world ends and those servers get taken over and I lose the cloud data, 
and my house having to burn down too, I still have a hard drive. One hard drive. I gotta figure out a way to restore it, but I still have it, right? So you're basically preparing for the worst with your backup because if you remember last lesson, we talked about memorializing everything. Memorializing is a way that you can conserve your business and make sure that your business lives forever. Well, if everything you memorialize goes missing, then your business is officially dead. Unless you're alive, then you can redo it. But you're still losing a lot of information that there's no way your brain could hold. There's no way your brain has the capacity, right? There's a science to how much capacity your brain has. You can't buy more capacity in your brain, but you can definitely buy more hard drives and more storage and space to collect all of the data or store, excuse me, not collect, store all of the data that you've accumulated over the years. So I might not re remember something from 20 years ago, but my computer will, and the hard drive associated with my computer will, and all the hard drives I backed it up to, if something happens, if I get dementia, I get hit in the head and I just lose all my memory. You should be able to, with no memory, I don't even know my name, click this hard drive and see the contents in that hard drive and be able to maneuver your way through. A nobody, a child who knows nothing should be able to maneuver their way through your file system and if they're capable, really run and start your whole business. That's how you wanna file your contents, your data, your files, everything. That's how you wanna file your files. But you guys get what I'm saying. That is how organized you wanna be. You wanna be so organized that someone who knows nothing can go through your file system and start your business from scratch and run it equally as good as you. If you memorialize everything and file in this manner, then you're on the way, you're on the path to a successful entrepreneurial journey. You are on the way to uh, owning and operating a successful business. I promise you that, despite everything we said, even if you skip a ton of the steps that we said in this lesson, or not in this lesson, in this uh, course, you skip a lot of stuff, you skip MailChimp, you skip, a lot of people don't do MailChimp, don't do Hootsuite, some people don't do social media, all that. This lesson right here, you cannot ignore. If you do not memorialize everything and have a proper file system, your business relies on you and people have power over you because all they gotta do is do something to you and you lose your business, all right? The last part, about staying organized I wanna talk about is, and this is our last lesson with this marker, but this is a cloud, okay? We can store things in the cloud. I just explained the cloud is just a server, a remote server, and um, when things are stored on there, we can access it from any device that has internet. With that being said, not only is there cloud storage that I just explained to you, but there's also, um, applications that operate off of cloud. So we talk about G Suite was one that we, and it's actually called Google Suite now, but this is one that we used earlier for our domain, our email. Right, but now we also can use Docs, which is similar to Microsoft Word, if you ever use Word. We got, a, uh, not it's called Sheets, this is similar to Excel. Right, and then there's others, but these are actual programs that we can use that are cloud-based. And because they're cloud-based, we can share them with other people without ever having to store them on our computer, even though we want to. So this is a good way to store and back up things that you're working on now. You can keep all these documents in the same file system I just drew up for you. A similar uh, file system, excuse me, right? With the tiers and the folders, but now all of these can be shared with another user who you may be doing business with. And this is really important in regards to staying organized because now, it's, again, it's not all about you. You, here you are, you guys can see well, you did everything you were supposed to do. You did everything Art told you. You memorialized everything. You stored it properly. But now you got these other business affiliations that you gotta do business with. 
And you need them to be organized well. You need to share in an organized way. Companies like Google, we use MS Suite, which is Microsoft, right? So you see words up there, but when we write it, we got Word, Excel. They all used to be a CD you put in your computer and you install it on your computer. Well, now these things are cloud-based because what Microsoft and Google and they all understood was that, okay, yeah, we create documents. Humanity creates documents, but what do we do more than create them? We share them. Right? We're always sharing. Everybody's sharing. Okay? Students are sharing documents with their teachers. Businesses are sharing documents with one another. People are sharing documents with the world. Right? So, with that understanding, they went cloud-based so that anyone can access files without having to store it and use space on their computer or on their hard drive. And you as a new entrepreneur can leverage this to also grow your business and remain organized, okay? I particularly like Google. I know Microsoft, they have email too, but Google is probably the most popular. And I like Google because I can share these via email. So now they got my email, my domain, my docs, my sheets. They also got my contacts here, right? So now it's easy to share because they also store my contacts. These are all things to consider, but anyway, this is why I like Google Suite because it allows me to remain organized. Okay, Apple actually has done a good job of allowing you to share from your computer to iCloud, from your desktop, your downloads, your documents. You can actually share up to the cloud and then share with whoever or access them from any Apple device. These are things that five, four years ago was annoying. Why are they doing this cloud thing? Why does it keep asking me about iCloud, cloud this? But now people like myself are buying into it and saying, I can actually use this to be more organized. Now I don't gotta carry around a whole laptop because I can access what's on my laptop from my phone, right? I don't need to carry around five hard drives. I might just buy a spot on three different servers, three different cloud-based servers for $2.99 a month. And I could store unlimited data on Apple's cloud, Google's cloud, Microsoft's cloud, and now I have my laptop and three clouds, right? My phone's backed up to all four. And then I still might have one of these hard drives. And then I still might have a, a big one, a big hard drive that plugs into the wall. I might go out and buy my own server, right? And store everything on my server as my company grows, which is why big companies have servers. Office buildings have servers so that everyone's devices can be backed up. You fire somebody, they get an attitude, they break the laptop, set the whole floor on, fly, on fire. Everything's backed up to the server. You rebuild the floor, you hire some new people, and the person that acted out when you fired them feels stupid because business moves on as usual. You don't want to be vulnerable to losing data. You don't want to be vulnerable to losing operations. You don't want to be vulnerable to just some of the risks that come with running a business. And the quickest way you can be vulnerable is by not being organized and trying to do everything off your head and everything on the fly, all right? So with all that being said, Quick recap, stay organized, file everything, overname your files, be very specific, okay? Back up everything, redundancy is key. Stop being afraid to back it up. Back up your phone, we do all this stuff on our phone. Back up your phone three times to three different devices. Why not? Back it up, I have mine backed up to the cloud and my laptop, and then backed up um, to my laptop, and the laptop is then backed up to another hard drive. So if something happened to my phone, somehow I'm getting my phone's data back. Um, hopefully it's, it's recent and up to date, which is the last thing. It actually wasn't on here, I forgot about it, but you wanna back up often. So not only redundant, but often, and here's why. When you restore, you only can restore up to as recent as your last backup. So if I backed up last, and right now it's April 2020, if I backed up last in January, when I restore, my laptop's gonna be back to January. So everything that I accomplished between January and now is gone. Okay, so this is very important to back up your data often. We talked about digitally backing up a lot. Physically too, make copies. I talked about memorialize everything, create a binder, blah, blah, make copies of the binder. You should have a physical copy of every document you ever create. 
a digital copy of every document, a backup of that digital copy, a cloud backup of that copy, and then another binder, why not? Can't hurt. I mean, it can if you run out of space, but if you're doing the right thing in regards to filing, memorializing everything and being organized, your business is gonna grow where you have space to store all these hard drives and servers and documents, I promise. All right, so file, organized, and specifically, back up everything often, right? Um, and lastly, leverage cloud systems in order to keep your business organized when sharing documents and data with others. All right, that is lesson 15. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm passionate about that one because I, I'm just so meticulous and I always joke and say I have OCD, but uh, guys, I'm, I'm very on point and very, very crazy about where my data is, how I've lost data in the background. That's why uh, in the background, <laughs> I've lost data in the past, right? I've lost data when I was younger and careless. And now it's like, man, I put all that work into editing that video and I lost the video. I paid all that money for that photo shoot and I don't have any of the photos. Okay, so it's very important for us to back up, be organized, and operate like a hot, yo, especially when you got a lot of clients, you're dealing with other people's data, you're getting emails, you're doing all that, you can't be careless. Facebook, 2016 election, right? They were too, They were so organized that they started selling data, right? And they altered the 2016 election and there was a big federal investigation and blah, 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 but they were careless with people's data. People didn't like it. Right? You want to be careful, not careless, right? But for a different reason, you want to be careful because you don't want to lose that data. That data is the power. You don't want to lose your black book of business because you didn't back up or uh, memorialize everything. All right, so anyway, that's lesson 15, guys. I'll check you out. Lesson 16, thank you all for watching in its completion. Go get your files organized. If you don't have no files, good. Just starting with a clean slate, nice and fresh. Um, the best way to start, but good luck on your journey. I'll catch you on lesson 16, the power of word of mouth. Peace.